Hi everyone, it's Peter, welcome to Orchard. Here we're talking about EVs, and I'm here with the man, Trevor. And listen, so let's talk about, number one thing, electric vehicles, are they here to stay? They definitely are. They're not no. going anywhere. They're just getting bigger and more exciting, cooler, more technology, more performance, just yes. more fun. I know we're standing beside this awesome Mach-E here, which I love, by the way, I love talking this thing. This is an electric Mustang. Yeah. I like, I like the Mach-E, but I love the word Mustang on it. This Me thing too. is just awesome on it. Yeah, so but cool. Let's talk about, how about the demand? Like a lot of people talk about it. We know the whole Tesla's in the world and the Mach-E's in the world. Yeah. But what about demand from your perspective? Demand's just been insane. Yeah. Like, especially over the last few months, price of fuel going up, some crazy stuff going out, on out there. There's yeah. some, been some new incentives, some new, um, reasons to get people into them. Yeah. So if you're looking for a new vehicle, why not go electric? Yeah. So much cheaper to run. The maintenance costs are next to nothing. Easy to charge. You start every day with a full tank of fuel yeah, because it's right. electricity instead of gas. Yeah. Right. So every day you start with a full charge or however much you want to start with. So there's a lot of signs on it. Cause like it's not a fad. It was a fad like five to ten years ago. It's like right. there's the one in it, but now it's really kind of getting to right. it. Right. What about from an R and D perspective? Like what do you see? For example, like you know you look at hey, is the companies are they taking it seriously? Like what's Ford doing, for example? Well, it used to be like 10 years ago, all the manufacturers were doing it because they had to. Yeah. They had a mandate target that they had to reach. So now they're doing it because they want to, yeah. because they know it's a cool car. They know people want it. It's in high demand. They're not doing it because they have to. They're doing it because they want to. Yeah. So that's the big difference. That's the big that's difference. A big difference. Plus, charging infrastructure back 10 years ago was almost non-existent. Yeah. You know? So now people can actually drive coast to coast and charge the car along the way. Right. And you can get almost like an 80% charge in like 20 minutes. So, so that's another thing. I think when you look at these things here, like when you're talking about this thing, love the charging thing. Yes, there's no fuel, electricity. So tell me about the charging infrastructure, like, you know, especially here in BC, like yeah. what's that look like from your perspective and how, how good is it? Probably 90% of your charging is going to be done at home yeah. using, I'll open this again, yeah. using this port right here. Yeah. It's a J1772 okay. port. So basically when you're charging at home in your garage, that's the port you're gonna be using. Yeah. So plug it in, get all a full charge overnight, you're yeah. ready to go for the next day. Yeah. And that's gonna give you all the charge you need for that day's commute. Yeah. Right? So if you're on the road charging, then you can use oh. this port here. <laughs> and that's that's your DC fast charging port. Got it. So when you go into Petrocan or Electrify Canada or one yeah. of those DC fast chargers, yeah. you plug that in there and then you're gonna get a much faster charge. Slightly like, more expensive, but yeah. still pretty cheap compared yeah. to gas, real okay. cheap compared to gas. Yeah. And then that's gonna charge it up real quick on the road. You go in, use the washroom, grab a bite to eat. Yeah, it's, you're good it's to go. charged up. You know, one of the things we're always kind of learning is like, hey, you pick the car that suits for you. Right. Like, what kind of questions should I be asking myself if I'm gonna to go to an EV? Basically what your daily commute looks like. Okay. So are you driving 100 kilometers a day? Or are you driving 500 kilometers a day? So with the Mach-E, for example, yeah. there's two battery sizes. There's oh, okay. a regular range battery and yeah. then there's extended range. So yeah. obviously the extended range is a little more money. You might not need that. And you're hauling around that much more battery right. that you're not right. going to necessarily need. So the best thing to do is figure out what you're driving kind of daily yeah. and how many road trips you're expecting to do yeah. and then kind of buy your car around that. There's no sense getting a car that's got a 500 kilometer range and you're, you're never going to use that. Yeah, right? totally. It's like, just, it's pointless. Pointless. Like I, yeah. I, I drive my kids to activities back and forth. I'm doing like 20 or 30K a yeah. day. I literally, you know, sometimes I forget to charge this thing for like three or four days and I'm like, oh, I still got 30%. You're not know, even, yeah. you know, realizing it. So it's just like, it goes back to, hey, okay, in realistic terms right now, if I'm going, I'm driving up north every single day, probably not a good idea to get an EV yet, right? You, you can make it work, but it's not going to be as convenient. as convenient. The DC fast charging infrastructure isn't quite there. Yeah. You know, you might end up having to stay overnight to charge it. Yeah. You know, which for most people, that's maybe not the most convenient scenario. That's right, yeah. Scenario. Perfect. But okay. it can be done yeah. and basically, every month more and more chargers are coming online yeah. so it's going to be there it's awesome. just a matter of time awesome yeah now there's one thing this is one of the things you want to get an ev you can't put it on video <laughs> you've got to test it got to so try gonna it pop on this thing jake up here in the back seat and we're going to see if we can feel something okay we can't call it a gas pedal anymore no what are we going to call it's it it's a juice pedal it's a juice, it's a juice pedal. pedal yeah <laughs> yes it's a juice pedal the juice that's pedal it. yes the juice pedal yeah so, and that that's the coolest thing about this car yeah. is how much fun they are to drive that's it and the batteries are basically in the floor underneath yeah. the seat yeah so that's real low yeah and that's going to give you the best center of gravity yeah the thing handles like it's on rails beautiful it's, it's insane well, let's go let's go let's go pop it all right let's go test it out let's do it all right so you're right this is well first of all it's so quiet I no love sound. this thing. No love sound. this thing. 
And then the second thing is, yes, most thing is, <laughs> that's, that's what seals the deal right there. That Every time. is what seals the deal. There's this pure power of an EV. Now, before I get rested, which I won't do that, we're on a nice safe parking lot here. That's probably the best thing for an EV that you can you can get. Absolutely.